briefcase, briefs, and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. In 1980, the Supreme Court of Indiana heard the case Short v. Texaco, Inc., which revolved around the question of whether the government has the power to limit property rights through laws that promote the public good, provided they are reasonable and not unfairly discriminatory. The case dealt with the controversial Mineral Lapse Act in Indiana, which aimed to terminate mineral interests that have not been in use for over 20 years. A trial court had previously declared the act unconstitutional as it was believed to violate property rights by depriving people of their rightful minerals. The act, however, was intended to ensure the economic interests and welfare of the public by removing abandoned mineral interests that burdened the development of new interests and surface rights, and by making the full productive potential of the property available. The appeal argued that the act violated due process, equal protection, and the guarantee of just compensation for property taken by the state. Following a review, the Supreme Court of Indiana reversed the trial court's judgments declaring the statute unconstitutional and sent the cases back for enforcement of the act. The court ultimately found that the classification of interests was rational, met state and federal equal protection requirements, and that in matters of economic and social concern, legislative choices should be given a high degree of deference. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lse.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.